All right. Well, the video starts to pick up in the um, in the next two portions. Are you guys ready to get rolling? Cool. All right. Well, let's move it up. I'm going to start today with a piece of 44 by 4 millimeter tubing. Let's cut it down, I don't know, about a foot or so. A little bit The length isn't really important. I'm going to use just pieces of it. And I'm going to make a bubbler. And uh, I'm going to make everything in such a way that I don't have to use the kiln to construct this bubbler. Instead, I'm going to use this device right here. Turn this down. There we go. I'm going to use my Bunsen burner right here. So this is a pretty nifty little device and it's uh, essentially just a, a heater on the bench. Help keep everything nice and hot. So let's begin. I'm going to start by pulling a point on the 44 by 4 just to help me hold on to it a little bit better. So the important thing when you remember, you need to remember when uh, you're pulling your points, you don't want to pull too quickly. If you pull quickly, you'll get this part too narrow, and then it won't be able to support the weight at the end. It'll want to bend. Keep that thickness. I'm going to set this down for a little bit. So this is a uh, female, 14 millimeter female. All right, that train whistle means I should stop it right here. Um, not really, but why not? Um, in my notes it says, uh, make your own tools. And I think it's, a, it's pretty straightforward and simple. The, the cap that I made is a real good example of that. Sometimes tools that you make are really simple. Um, they serve a very singular purpose. Sometimes um, the tools that you make are a little bit more complex. I have a really good example of that. I'll be right back. Okay. This right here is a more complex tool. It's a blow handle that I use, and it has a fitting on there. And you can put a female on there and then you can weld 90 degree this way 
so you can put your you can prep your um, fittings that go on to your you know scientific pieces and stuff like that and there's a bridge attachment already on there too you know what I mean so it's just you stick the cap on there's already a hole in it put the other piece on bridge it right down quick and easy so you can make parts real fast stuff like that I mean if you think your process through a little bit then the parts or the the tools that you need to make uh, make a lot of sense so yeah hopefully that helps All right. here we go